Barbados has the potential to significantly enhance its tourism package with a greater emphasis on sailing and related events. This is the view of international property developer and investor Tony Lawson, who also owns the popular multi-one design racing yacht, Miss Barbados. Barbados has it all. St. Lucia doesn't have polo. It doesn't have horse racing. It doesn't have motor car racing. Okay. And that's, you know, put those together and the new facilities the government is building in the shallow water harbour, you put that together with your unique offer and you'll get more yachts back here. In the old days, boats always stopped in Barbados first because you're out in the middle of the ocean. You were the first place. They had no fresh water. They'd ran out of food. The milk had gone sour. But now they've got refrigeration, air conditioning. They've got water maker plants on board the boats. They can go anywhere they want. So you have to attract them as I said, with your unique offer. Mr. Lawson says the island, therefore, has much to gain in that area. I actually think that Barbados is starting to rediscover itself as a sailing destination. And one of the things that we want to do while we're here is to get people to look at, look at sailing and not think it's some like rich man's sport, wherever it might be. It's, 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 they're, they're good people, they're, they're busy people, they're athletic people, and they spend money and you should, they should be encouraged to come. But the government's got the right idea. You know, you've got to build the facilities. They're building you know, a new immigration or clearance, as we call it, point in the shallow water harbour so people can go in there. They've got bathrooms there. They've got a place where you can wash your clothes. You know, they're going to have the dedicated uh, immigration team there. And that, that's, you know, your first you know, appearances are very important. Telecommunications company Flo has started explaining to its mobile customers exactly how the new 22% mobile tax on voice, text and data services will impact on them. The company first started issuing alerts last Saturday via its social media platform, revealing that prepaid customers will now experience less usage as a result of the increased tax. The company is therefore advising its prepaid customers that they may need to increase the level of their top-ups as a result. As for Flo's postpaid mobile customers, they've been informed that they will notice an increase in their total bills that reflects the additional 4.5% increase in the value-added tax rate. CIBC First Caribbean today welcomed its new Chief Executive Officer, Gary Brown, for his first official day in office. Mr. Brown was appointed Chief Executive Officer of CIBC First Caribbean with effect from January 1st, 2016. Now, prior to the role, he was Global Head of Corporate Banking with the bank's parent company, CIBC. The new CEO has started stated his intention to build on the strong recovery which the bank has been seeing over the past two quarters, with its highest net income in five years being recorded in the third quarter of 2015. In a message to employees across the bank, he noted that his focus will be on the acceleration of growth across the bank's regional footprint through an even stronger focus on the customer. Well, here now is how the stocks traded locally and regionally.